Keep up and be quiet. Thatcher is the old man in the gang, an old school and down to earth SAS operator who have a dislike for electronic aids in his lifelong profession of counter terrorism. Considering such devices crutches, he is convinced an operator can only be valued on personal merits alone. While sometimes overbearing and condescending, Thatcher's personality is rooted in a deep care for his family, both his brother and his adopted family of Rainbow. His psychological profile clearly states that he excels with younger, impressionable recruits whom he can mentor. While he can be hesitant to use alternate solutions made available by technological advancements, he seems to be slowly coming around, even developing a respect for Grace Knapp and her overly technical way of doing things. This isn't the time to lose focus. Thatcher's role in the team is that of primary support. He should preferably stay with the hard breacher, Fermite, Hibana or Ace and remove any obstacles with his EMP grenades. His ability to disable Bandit, Cade and Mute's gadgets through walls make him very difficult to counter and aside from the hard breacher should be a defending team primary target. While the hard breacher is working, Thatcher should provide overwatch and be alert for any attempts to interfere with the breach from roamers and peekers. If working with Fermite, Thatcher should also carry breaching charges so he can take care of any unreinforced surfaces. GPS satellites, unmanned drones, fucking laser sights. Thatcher has a large choice of weapons, but only two are considered useful as his shotgun was merely added after fans pointed out that he was equipped with one in the official artwork, but could not use one in the game. As for the two remaining choices, they are useful in different situations. The AR-33 is my personal favorite and your best option at close range. Equipped with an angled foregrip and a red dot sight, it can be brought up quickly and any accuracy lost is negated by the short range of to the target. While it holds fewer rounds than the L85, it compensates by having a higher rate of fire. The L85 is the mainstay of Thatcher's arsenal. Reliable and steady, this is the weapon of choice for any situation where you are going to be working at a distance. Equipped with the standard foregrip and an ACOG, this is a superb weapon that will serve you well in most situations. However, the increased accuracy and the additional rounds come at the price of being slower to aim properly and with less rate of fire. It is a crime against nature to put any sort of laser sight on Thatcher's weapons. Disabling electronics! Thatcher's EMP grenades are some of the best gadgets in the game. Not only can they destroy or disable a large number of enemy gadgets, they work through walls as well, meaning you can easily dispatch anything trying to prevent a breach from the safety of the other side of the wall. What many people seem to be unaware of is also that Thatcher's grenades can be thrown from a distance. Throwing that first grenade when you are still far away reduces your exposure to enemy fire and with practice can be an efficient tool to create a breach as quickly as possible. The EMP grenades destroy many devices such as jammers, batteries, GU mines, nitro cells, proximity alarms and Mossy's pets, to name a few. Others are merely disabled, such as Pulse Scanner, the Evil Eyes, Alibi's Prismas and the Yokai Drone. EMP grenades can be destroyed by Jaeger's ADS and drawn, of course, by Vamai's gadgets. Furthermore, they are the best viable counter if you encounter a clash alone. Is this amateur hour? The first thing a Thatcher player should know is that they are in support. In this case, to a specific player, the Hard Breacher. It is therefore necessary to use the communication tools available, such as voice chat or pings, to communicate where an EMP grenade may be necessary. Map knowledge is also essential to identify the common spots where a breach can be the most effective and where jammers, batteries and electrocloths are often placed. Secondary targets for Thatcher are evil eyes and the subjugation of Clash should the players not already ban her. It is worth repeating that a Thatcher player is not a fragger first. They may shift into this role once their EMP grenades are expended, 
but as long as there are valid targets, their lives are not theirs to lose. It belongs to the team. That said, be confident that you can take your own decisions regarding where an EMP is needed, and do not save them if you find a good target of opportunity. While this have become somewhat of a fashion to try and use EMP grenades to waste charges on Jäger's ADS, this should not be something you do out of habit. However, and this is very important, if there is an opportunity to punch a lion in the face without the team or the mission objective suffering for it, you should totally go for it. Thatcher is a decisive operator and fits the description of easy to learn, difficult to master. If you feel you are comfortable enough in Siege as a whole to take more responsibility within your team, then Thatcher is a good start. The mix of a good gadget and decent enough weapons makes him welcome on any attacking team in Rainbow Six Siege.